Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'd like to talk about how you can replace your TV with your projector, laser projector in this case. Some reviewers out there, I know, they tell people you can't really replace your TV with the projector, especially in the lit environment for daily use. Yes, this is the scenario. Right now, the room is lit with where my hand is, like a 400 lux of huge amount of light right now. So this room is maybe you're you're seeing the room uh, kind of like a mid-level light but right now it could be blindly light but why do you see it like this because the tv and the projector is so bright we have tuned the camera settings according to the tv and the projector that's why you're not seeing me overexposed i want you to see the tv not overexposed tv is extremely bright and the projector is extremely bright so don't focus on my lightning right now i can shoot close-up videos in this room i can read any book from a distance and i am shining all the way so if you have watched my other videos you know how this room is quite lit maybe in the end of the video just you can visit the couple of the videos to see the room set up and how lit the room is so why I am shooting this video? Basically, when people think about the projectors, they think about, hey, the TV is giving better blacks and there is no reason to replace the TV with the projectors. And the second thing is people tend to think about, hey, I don't need a huge screen everyday use. Like if I want to watch TV show or if I want to watch news, I don't want to have extremely big. But you don't have to use your projector in a big size screen. Projectors can also deliver something like this. The TV is 65 inch and the projector is tuned to the 65 inch. Projector we have is a laser ultra short probe Xiaomi 4K. It can deliver 150 inch of images, but no TV can give you 150 image, at least for this price. This is $1,500 dollar level entry level 4k laser projector and it has 30 watts of good bass sound so it is better sounding for the from the tv and it's giving us near same level of visual when i say near you'll be saying hey it's washed out this screen is the cheapest screen and it is no different than regular white wall i shown you in my earlier videos then why i'm shooting like this I could have shoot it with an ALR screen. Later on, hopefully I will. My ALR screen is about to come. It's on the transportation. So until it comes, I just want to show you, even with the worst screen that you can buy, like the cheapest one or flat white wall, you can catch a good image by showing you closing one light. When the first light is gone, right now I can read books. Don't focus on my lightning because you're focused on the TVs and uh, projectors extreme light amount. Don't focus on me, focus on the screen. You're not going to be seeing overexposed image, but the sharpness, the brightness, it's looking amazing. Bolt is 65 inch level. So if I close the second light, so this is a quite lit room. I can shoot still review videos with, uh, settings for myself not for the screen if i closed all the lights right now the room is not perfectly black because we have lights hue lights under the t uh, behind the tv unit and also back of the tv because it's a philips hue tv we have lights all around they are also uh, killing some of the qualities of the projector we have because light is always bouncing around and coming back to the pretty much white wall. If you wanted the perfect combination, you have to make black all the room like the cinema setups. But since this is a living room, we are talking about the TV setup. So can you tell which one is better? Maybe TV is giving a little bit of more contrast, but in the end, TV cannot do that. But let me just show you, not tell you, have you ever tried to increase the size of your TV by just pulling it out? No, because you can't. But you can with the projector. Let me just show you two seconds. One, two. 
and we are in the 90 inch level let me just open one light again and get back in front of the camera i know the contrast is the light level is a little bit dimmer than before but still it's watchable in the very lit room right now and the image is not focused perfectly because i haven't adjusted the focus for the distance it was for the 65 inch level but let me just be clear we are right now 90 inch level and if i just put it just a couple of centimeters it will be 100 and if i push it i can go 150 inch no tv can deliver you this so get the thing out of your head you don't have to use your uh, you don't have to use your projector like a big screen always you can go small if they can focus you can pull them in or take them out you can definitely change the size and i have made another tutorial video you can do similar stuff with your regular throw or long throw projectors you can get them close and project 50 to 60 inch images that could be usable like a tv and then turning it to the other wall and you can create 100 or 200 inch tv depending on your room size so you just have to turn your projector that's it you have a just double setup in the same room you just have to have a couple of seats to adjust your sitting position to the second wall if you change it like i told you so in that case this is easier because of the ultra short throw projectors are expensive but it's very easy to achieve again i will show you in the lit room you just have to push it in and take a look at the size oh let me just i was just too little bit fast so this is 65 inch so that's what you get you're not going to be regretting what you have done if you go to a like a direction of ultra short throw projectors there are a couple of downsides as always if i close the light again what's the downsides what's the catch you have to invest to a screen if you're going to open up the lights of the room or if you're going to use it in a lit room you have to go to the gray screens and you have to buy a tension screen either fix or roll up roll down whatever it is it needs to be tension otherwise you'll have the wrinkles or uh, the wavy effect this i made uh, another couple of videos about this so this is not a problem of the projector this is the problem of the screen this is the cheapest one of the cheapest screen in the market but this screen is three meter length which means it is 135 inch and i can feel this screen just pulling it out 10 or 20 centimeters more than the tv unit just i have a small table just put it here in the same height with the same color of this furniture so i will put it on just a little slightly and i got my 150 inch image so you won't regret the projector setup you can you cannot enlarge your tv but you can really shrink your projector image so what do you want to do is up to you but if you're focused on gaming i must say if you like use xbox series x or pc kind of like a high-end gaming and if you're into fps or competitive gaming online gaming then you might want to buy a low latency better refresh rate kind of projector but that is increasing the price so what your price will be you'll probably get uh, for this projector this is a 4k projector if you buy an oled lg style new generation tv probably you can buy this projector for the price of 50 55 inch oled tv new generation that tv could give you 144 hertz or in low milliseconds this projector is 92 milliseconds very delayed so this is not a gamer projector but the image is good if you're just going to watch stuff and i'm a casual gamer i'm okay with many of the games that i play you can use in racing stuff but if you're a competitor competitive gamer so you have to spend double or triple the money like three thousand dollar levels but no tv will give you for three thousand dollar 150 inch image when you want it so getting it small and getting it big this easy will probably make you think hey i can go to the direction of the projectors you can just include 
one TV satellite unit and you can make this thing TV and they have good sound and you can connect any Bluetooth source as well. So why not think about the projector as a daily usable TV because of their new generation light source and lamp lives. But don't focus on this. I made another video in the second hand market how you can find 720p, yes, you heard me right, 720p ultra short throws and how good they are in the real life compared to this 4K. You'll be shocked. So you can find ultra short throws in the second hand market, 200, $300 range. I know they are 720p to 180p, but you won't regret the quality while you're watching videos or playing games. So focus on that. You can do the same thing with the budget. You can do similar stuff with the ultra short throw, long throw. Just think about this topic. You don't have to go always on the TV direction. I'm not against the TVs. I'm still keeping the TV, but I'm not sure after the ALR screen, will I be keeping the TV? Because with the ALR screens, I will try to, you know, later on shoot a video about it. But let me just show you in advance, uh, tell you in advance uh, without the screen. If you have an LR screen with an ambient light rejection, if it's professional level, you can just buy like a 90 or 80 inch small one. When I say small, it's bigger than many TVs. You can project 90 inch image which, which, with LR with lights on. What when the light's gone, you can put the projector screen down or up and then project to a wall, take it a little bit back and you got like, whoa, 150 inch big image in a dark room. So you can create, uh, differentiate your setup with the 60 or 75 inch, 80 inch TV style and then pull it back, get the screen down, project to a wall, and then you're good to go with the 150 inch image. Just think about this. I will try to create a content for it when my screens come and I hope to see you in the next video. And if you haven't watched my other tutorials, just watch them if you can. They will be around here somewhere. Anything I mentioned in this video and much more will be in the channel. So just look around the videos that I've created for you. Hope to see in the next video. Just think again before you want to purchase the t your next TV or upcoming TV, whatever it is. Bye from Home Cinema and Tech Review.